one of the things to keep in mind as your uh, as a director um, is try and have in mind how this how your movie is going to cut together. So there might be certain camera moves that you'll do in production or as you're visualizing, doing your storyboards that are all going to pay off now in post. Picture sets the mood. Uh, primarily, and after that, music really affects the mood tremendously. And watch where you toss those. Sorry. I can't sell wet newspapers, man. You sell those ones? Music is so uh, effective on people. You know, you can, have, you can set a mood with music with no picture. So setting a, mu a mood with music and then also picture is uh, very effective. I always like to think of music as a third character. Usually you have your, your antagonist and your protagonist, and I always like to throw in music as another character, a main character, because it is, it is a main character. And it creates mood, it creates emotion just as much as those actors that are on the scene. It, it all is about creating a mood. It's all about creating a feel. And if you watch a movie without music, that mood and feel is not there. My favorite uh... I guess moods in films are ones that are created by a juxtaposition of many different things. Not just, oh, if it's sad, put some weepy music over it with strings, you know. That, that is the kind of cheap way of, of achieving something. Uh, you know, if you have somebody slaughtering someone with a chainsaw and you play heavy metal, heavy metal music over it, that's not counterpoint. That is, okay, I get it. It's heavy duty, it's hard, the music's hard, everything's pushed in the same direction. But if you want to be a little more subtle and a little more complex, you might have the chainsaw scene uh, going with um, some happy kind of music, some uh, you know bubbly teeny bopper music, and that's going to give the audience the sense that there's something else going on here. There's a there's a third thing. There's not just music and picture. There's this third thing, which is an idea that the filmmaker is trying to communicate to you. The majority of it, the music was scored, and so we were able to take temp music when we were doing the edit and doing rough cuts. We took uh, music that we thought would create kind of a similar feel and laid that into the edit so that we were actually watching the movie with the emotion that we were trying to create or that we were going to try and create from the music that we were going to compose. Because you never compose your music until the, the edit is done. And music is such an important, crucial element to your movie that you need to have some temp music in there so you know what it's going to kind of create. How do you find that magic which is communicating to the audience without spelling it directly out for them? Taking, taking uh, something and being a little more clever at it and, and the audience picks up on that and says, oh, I'm getting communicated to and I'm creating it in my mind. I always like to show it to people to see what they're getting, what they're not getting um, and interpret what their, what their feedback is and really try and fix it. It's not always what they say is what's wrong with the picture. Oftentimes they'll say something which indicates there's something else wrong and you've got to fix that. That's, that's what you've got to be really careful in showing people the movie.